Hey everybody, welcome to Win Anyway Live, Weight Loss Wednesday, and more. I am coming to you straight from my car at the moment as I sit here outside the dentist's office waiting for my daughter Brooklyn to have her teeth looked at. We'll see how long this appointment actually takes. I am up 0.6 pounds from last week, but that's good because it's down three whole pounds from this weekend because I was just gaining all sorts of weight over the last week. And I think I might be about to gain a lot more weight because things are just changing faster than I could possibly keep up with. That's why it's weight loss and more. I've told you before, I'm a bit of an emotional eater. And after some of the things that happened yesterday, I, I had Ben and Jerry's, even though I had been good on Monday and Tuesday, which has helped lead to the uh, weight loss over the last couple of days. So let's take a look at what happened yesterday. Yesterday, my wife had the day off, and so she took our dog, Captain, in. We've had Captain for four years. He's about eight years old. He's a rescue dog, and he has had uh, a big lump coming just right on his chest, and we've been worried about it. So we took him in, and we had all sorts of tests done. And we found out that we're not going to have Captain with us very much longer unless we're willing to spend thousands of dollars. Uh, and even then it may not work because he may not survive the surgery at the age that he's at. So we found out that things just are not going well for poor Captain. In the middle of that appointment, as she's there, I get a phone call from our rental company. Now, we have been living in the same place, in the same rental, despite the rent increases, for the last almost 11 years. We're a month short. Uh, well, when March is over, it'll be exactly 11 years. And it turns out the owner wants... Ah, I think I'm reconnected. The joys of doing Facebook Live when you are out and about, as opposed to on the safety of your own web service. Anyway, our owner, the house owner, wants to sell the place... He's offering us the opportunity to buy it first, but I'm not sure if we can actually do that. I don't know if we have the resources to do that, but we also don't necessarily have the resources to get uh, a down payment and a first month's rent on someplace new that we want to make sure we're close enough to not lose schools and change our lifestyle a bunch. I'm not sure what we're going to do here. So it was better to talk to the rental company than to come home to a 30-day notice, that's for sure. And the house is not technically on the market yet. So Christy and I are going to go to a loan officer and see what we might qualify for and see if we can put an offer down on the house that we're in. But we're also looking for places to go. And we're looking to find ways to bring up some cash fairly quickly over the next week or two. Uh, we expect we have at least 30 days, uh, more likely closer to 60 days and possibly up to 90 days to come up with a solution as to where we're going to live. But, uh, you know, we're in the middle of this thing with Captain and then we get this news. It's kind of driving me nuts. But still, I'm thinking, you know, I've got a friend from college who's been posting about her uh, COVID that she's had, the COVID that her husband has that has put him on a ventilator the past few days, the COVID that their mother-in-law has, the, her, her husband's father, and she's in the hospital. And so, you know, my issues are really not huge issues. You know, the issues that we have are all huge to us because we're in the middle of dealing with them. And until we have to deal with worse issues, sometimes we're dealing with the worst we've ever had to deal with. And I can't say this is the worst I've ever had to deal with, considering I've had a, a daughter with a, a brain tumor and gone through an amputation myself and a myriad of other medical problems over the years. But this is kind of a problem of immediacy in terms of I have a very short amount of time to try to solve the problem. So is weight loss going to be all that much of a priority for me? I'm going to try to make it so. I'm going to try not to go totally off the wagon and stress eat. Uh, maybe I can use it to focus myself and lose some weight uh, regardless and, and while we're going through all of this. But what I am going to do is focus a little bit more on my business, on my coaching and my speaking, uh, probably most particularly my coaching in today's climate, and put together some offers for 
coaching uh, at different levels that would be significantly discounted to see if I can potentially uh, create a quick influx enough to at least make sure we can make certain things happen. It would be nice to get you know, down payment money on the house that we're at because that would help the overall offer that we're able to make. So they, that's my life. That was my day yesterday. That's why I didn't do my Speaking Tip Tuesday until almost 9.30 last night. But uh, today, we've had a night to think about it, to sleep on it, and I'm optimistic. I know things always work out. God has always helped us when we needed help. We've always found what we needed to find at the end of the day. That's why I believe in winning anyway. I know that no matter what happens, there's going to be a victory at the end of it all, if I just keep that mindset going, that we are going to win anyway. So hopefully you are going to keep going and live your win anyway life today and continue to think about winning anyway throughout your life every day. Tomorrow, who knows what I'll talk about. Hopefully it'll be a little bit less uh, self-revealing and problematic than what I've talked to you about today. Till then, this has been Win. Anyway, live!